So when replacing the hot end on your Marlin printer, or even just the uh, temperature sensor or the thermistor, you have to recalibrate the printer. In this video, I'm going to be showing how I tuned my Marlin printer to work with a new thermistor. I mostly tried to follow a, this Tom's Guide video, but it is a bit hazy in some spots. The audio he was giving and the text on screen didn't exactly align. And so I also recommend going here and reading how to do things. Um, it's a lot of information. Anyways, uh, the long and short of it is, if you have OctoPrint, just connect to your thing and go to a terminal, or you can use an application with USB and do the same. And then you use the code M303, and that apparently would just give you back a value, but isn't that great? So to tune it, um, you use S for, I guess, tune, and then you pick the temperature you're most often going to use. Um, so it'll be the most accurate at that temperature. And so in his video, he was saying ABS, and he typically uses uh, 230. Um, then he said to get a more accurate result on top of that, you can uh, use C, which I guess is how many times to repeat and get the average off of. And then he said C10. And then you add this code into the terminal in Octoprint and you hit send. And then it is going to process that. So now we just have to wait for it to get up to temperature. And then once it has got up to temperature, it is going to bounce up and down and try and fine tune and adjust for the new thermistor. And so it's just going to uh, go a little high, a little low, and it's just gonna make a bit of a wavy mark. Now you'll notice um, when it started out, it started out very wavy, and as it tuned, it seemed to get more and more and more accurate. And so now if we jump back here to the terminal, each of these is a, is a run test. There, there. Now here it has finished, so it closed that one. And now it has done its configuration -y thing. So the numbers we need are, we need the uh, K, K, P, but here we're just going to need the P and here's the I and then here's the, that one. So then after that we're supposed to input M301 space P and that's going to be 28.99 28 point nine nine space I 2.79 and then D capital D after a space and that one's going to be 75.41 and then I'm going to run that Then now that I've run it, it's going to, or it apparently echoes it back and says OK. And then I apparently have to do this every time I start up the server unless I run the command M500 to save it to memory. And then after that, it should work with... Um, better tuned thermistor thanks for watching i hope this helps if it's not in depth enough or you're trying to work on your print bed as well i recommend going and watching some other resources thanks
拜。